All right, guys, today we're going to start off by doing our Whoville with the Grinch project today. We're going to be designing some buildings, just like Dr. Seuss did in his very famous story, How the Gr Grinch Stole Christmas. So we're going to be making uh, the buildings here today, and then we'll be putting on a Grinch later on. All right, we're going to do a little practice before we begin. And the first thing I want you to do is you're going to be working with a pencil. We will work with a Sharpie a little bit later for our final draft, but we're going to do a few things uh, at first to practice doing some of those Whoville structures. Okay? The first thing I want you to do is you're going to divide it in half with a vertical line and a horizontal line. Okay? But I'm going to be working today in portrait mode, so make sure your paper's portrait. And so you have that line here and over here. Okay. On the top over here, uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to draw just a simple Christmas tree. Because uh, you probably want to include a Christmas tree in your Whoville. Uh, to do one, uh, you're going to start off by drawing a triangle towards the top. And then what I do here next is I'm going to come a little bit in and I'm going to go down, over, and back to that triangle. Okay, and I'm going to do that two more times to make it a little bit taller tree. The nice thing about drawing like Dr. Seuss is it doesn't have to be even. It actually looks nice if it's a little bit wiggly as you draw. After that you could add the base or the trunk and you could put a star on the top if you'd like. Uh, I like to just go like this, just do a, a star and go back and forth and then we could fill it in later on uh, but this is just for practice there. Uh, after that you can add a few decorations uh, to your tree. could do some wavy lines as well through it. Alright, there's a really simple Christmas tree. For the second box over here, uh, I'm going to show you some Whoville architecture. Uh, this is going to be a building. So an architecture uh, means that we're making a building though. To get started, um, I want you to practice one in this style and later on you get to design your own. So I'm going to start off with a horizontal line. That's going to be the bottom of the house. And then I'm going to do some diagonals, but I'm not going to go too diagonal, just a little bit of diagonal. And this one's going to come up over here. And I actually want them to be different sizes because we're going to make them a little bit different like Dr. Seuss did in his work. And then we'll connect it here. I'm going to come in a little bit and I'm going to do the second story and I'm going to go over and then I'm going to connect the two. It's okay if they're a little off. It actually looks nice, like I said. And now for the top, I'm going to give it a little bit different type of look. The, the roof is going to be a little bit different. So we're going to come right up in the middle. I'm going to put a dot up there. And I'm going to do this little curly, like a swirl. So it's going to go down and then I'm going to curl it up. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to go down and curl it. Off to the side here, I'm going to connect it back to the building. And then sometimes I like to do like a circle on the top. And there we have a simple architectural uh, style in the, in the style of Dr. Seuss. Uh, I'm going to add a few windows into it. These windows can be a little crooked, which actually gives it that nice Dr. Seuss feel. And maybe I'll put a big door down here on the bottom. And I'm going to go a couple times there. Looks like I might need another window right over here. Maybe I'll do a circle one. Alright, there's a house in the style of Dr. Seuss Whoville. For our third drawing down here, uh, let's practice drawing some Christmas lights that are strung up. First of all, you're just going to draw a line that kind of goes across your paper. And then we're going to give these little, kind of like a rectangle on each side. So we'll go back and forth on the sides. Those are like the bases where the light uh, fixture is 
is placed on. And then from there, we just put the lights in there. We just go do a little, uh, like a semicircle. It comes to a point. Sometimes I'll go like this. I'll give little lines to show that it's uh, that the lights are on. Gives a nice little look to it. And for the last one, we're going to practice making uh, a sign for Whoville. So we start off with a rectangle. Doesn't have to be a perfect rectangle. It's nice if it's a little off, actually. And then we're going to go around it to give it a little frame with a wavy line. And then we have to have a post so it can be stuck into the ground. Uh, Whoville, uh, we said we're going to say welcome to Whoville. So we're going to start off W E L C O M E, welcome to T O, Whoville then. W H O. We're going to put a dash then. And then we're going to go capital V I L L E. Welcome to Whoville. All right. So those are some things that I wanted you to practice today. I want you to turn it over now and we're going to work in a landscape. And we're going to be using our Sharpie marker now to get started because we're going to get right into it. First thing I want you to do is we're going to draw a line. This is going to be towards the bottom, probably about right in here, if you can see that right there. And we're going to just do a kind of a, just a light wavy line. This is where we're going to put the buildings. And we're going to do three of them. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do the first one, then you're going to design the rest of them. So to get started for that first one, we're going to draw the one like we did on the back side. And we're going to start off with a rectangle. Uh, maybe like a little diagonal in that. We're going to do a second story. We're going to come up a little bit. Put a dot up here above it. And we're going to do that line that curves out. Curves out. Connect. And we're going to do that circle on the top. And then you can start adding windows how you'd like. Again, it looks kind of neat if they're actually a little crooked. It's actually good in this project. And then the door on the bottom here. Alright, for you now, you're going to design another building here. Another building over here. You can put some lights that get strung across your buildings, or you can decorate on the buildings. Uh, you're going to have a sign maybe down here in the bottom that says, Welcome to Whoville, kind of like the sign we did before. And um, I'm going to also have a sheet here printed off that has a few extra things. You can put bells in there, an arch, and just some other things that uh, maybe that you saw in, in the book or in the video. Here's a chimney here. You can do lots of chimneys. They're kind of neat, uh, but you're going to be uh, decorating on your own. Uh, here's my example. Okay. So here's three buildings that I came up with. To do the Grinch now, you're going to start off with your green piece of paper. You're going to do. You're going to start right down over here. And you're going to do a big arch that comes up. And all the way over to here. Make sure you leave a little space on the top because we're going to add in the top part here for our Grinch, as you can see right here. To do the eyes, you're going to come up a little bit for the eyes because you don't want to do them too low because you won't have any room to, to glue. So you come up a little bit, kind of in the middle here. And we're going to do two horizontal lines. Do a vertical. 
another vertical and then we're going to draw a diagonal eyes, we're going to draw them kind of in the middle there circle and a dot circle and a dot and then we could draw the eyebrows. Those are going to be kind of like some wavy lines coming down. And you could even do some wrinkles up here. Towards the top, we're going to do uh, kind of like an M, but it's got an extra line in it there. It comes back down. That's his hair on top of his head. And you could draw extra little lines in there if you'd like. So that's the head part. Um, and then off to the side, these are going to be cut separately. So we're going to draw some, some hands. So you draw two lines. And then I just draw like, almost like points. They're really kind of sharp. And I just do four of them. So two lines, two lines. If you don't have much room over here, you could always do it coming this way as well. The one two, three, and four. Okay. And what you'll do next is you'll cut those out and then uh, be gluing them in a certain way on the back. Okay. For mine, I just overlapped it, glued it like that, and then this one got bent over right here. All right, guys, can't wait to see how you do on your Whoville Architecture Buildings.